Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling at Zim. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and in this bubbling, we're going to continue to look at the Zim site, zimjs.com. The new gold bars down here at the bottom, we've already seen zap and tips, a long one on tips, uh, but when we posted the video, you can click to see any of the specific tips. So there's some links to dig deeper. Badges we've already seen before, so we won't go in there. And now we're on Zoo. So this is Zim Zoo. It's new to Zim. And we'll click that, and here we are. So what we've got is a place where we can type any Zim code, and it will show up in a frame. So let's just try that out. And we'll type in here. Um, var circle is equal to a new circle. You can uh, make this bigger as well if you want. So we'll just F11. Oops, F11, not F12. And there we are typing in full screen. I'll just make that a bit bigger there. So var circle equals new circle. We will dot center on the stage and dot drag. Dot, oh, almost there. Dot drag. Okay, so this is an online editor, and uh, there we go. I'm going to just F11. We'll come back to whoop, the form, and now we hit either view or save. So I'll hit view, and there she be. So this is a Zim fit template, and there's the code that we did. It opened up in a new window, Zim Zoo. So that's the idea. It's an online editor. Uh, there's frame up above and there's frame down below. And we've just snuck the outer color and the color in there so you can change those up if you want. You can call that a light, for instance, and I'll do that. Hmm. And there we go. Okay, so that's the light gray of Zim. You can also save, at which point it will I'll open up in TextPad or save to the browser. So there we go. Uh, here's here's what we've got, the Zim frame template. And then it says end of first part of the template. Uh, here's what we've typed right there. And then start of second part of the template. So just a traditional Zim template. And you can save that up. Uh, what else we've done is added a clear so that we can clear that stuff. We can also just enter code. So now we've hit the monkey. And that will show us loading in a sprite sheet, a monkey.png. When it's complete, we make a new sprite from it, we center it on the stage, we run it, and we're adding transforms to it. So if we do that, here's what that looks like. It's a monkey that is animating with the, the new Zim transform to let you try out some transform transforms. Cool, huh? Double click on that and the transform goes away. So the idea is it's a Zim Zoo where you could go and make a bunch of uh, a bunch of animals or you know a bunch of Zim things and 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 see them or try them out. It's not really to make a zoo. Here's what the snake looks like. I'll just clear that last one and we'll uh, show a snake. A snake is using, I believe it was. Uh, Noise, yeah, noise for the background and wiggles. Let's see, wiggles and a blob. So we've got a blob on the stage that we ended up recording. We re entered that blob and so forth, and here's what it looks like. So we can move that around, and if you want to see the blobs going, there's the animation for the blob. Now, the way the blob works is it can be dragged when you can't see the sticks, but if you want to see the editing sticks there, which is a little bit different than the transform. Uh, I'm not sure if I should have brought those in line. Um, but the combination of dragging this as well as having these parts to it, uh, by the way, these are editable, is, um, was just a bit much perhaps on the drag. So there's that. There's a lion. I'll just clear that. You can put multiple ones on the screen at the same time. The lion is, is, is more simple. It's just bringing in a picture and a, and a sound. So uh, let's view that. Uh, this might take... Whoa, okay, there's lion. And once again, we're transforming here, like so. And then when we click on the lion, it roars. 
And finally, the giraffe example. So in other words, each of these zoo animals are done in a, a different manner. The giraffe is using physics. So note that when we selected giraffe, it automatically checked physics. These are separate libraries and helper libraries modules that we can add. And physics is needed for the giraffe. So let's see that one. Here she be, and it will just slowly, I've set the, uh, the gravity a little bit slower on this just to kind of have some fun with this slow moving giraffe. Whee! Hello giraffe! And you can see if you can stand the giraffe up. <laughs> there we go. Uh, will it stand or will it won't? Uh, there. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, just a ragdoll giraffe. So you can see how, how that was made as well. Take a look at some of the, the stuff going on inside of there. Um, neat, huh? And that is Zim Zoo as part of the gold bars along the bottom. So anytime you want to tr quickly try out some Zim code, pop into Zoo. I've actually been using that to develop a few things, develop a few ideas. I have just a quick idea, stick it in there. You can always hit the save button and grab your code. Um, so it's not bad. The editor is actually pretty cool. It's got uh, things like, I think it even had multi-line select and it's uh, almost like using Atom. I am Inventor Dan Zen, here uh, for What's Bubbling at Zim. Have a great day, and we hope to maybe add some more things to those gold bars. That should, should sound fun, huh, in the future. Um, ciao, here from uh, ZimJS.com.